In this lesson, students will be asked to create a rectilinear shape with a predetermined area or perimeter and justify and explain their shape. Students have been exploring area and perimeter of plane figures. Area is defined as the size of a surface and perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. Some teachers will use an example of a picture frame where the picture represents the area and the frame around represents the perimeter. In this lesson, students may be given a pile of tiles to use to represent a certain area. The area here we're going to work with today is 16. They have to determine the perimeter. So we know that the area is 16, but they have to determine the perimeter of each shape. So we're going to start with this, this shape up here. Remember, in earlier lessons, they counted around, and they might make tick marks to help them remember their count. So here's our first unit, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not forgetting the corners there, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So the yellow shape has a perimeter of 22. This long skinny one here, again the area is still 16, that's our constant. And since it's one long shape, we know that there are 16 tiles here and therefore there are 16 units on this side, 16 units on that side, and we know that 16 and 16 is 32, with the two ends added in and we have a perimeter on this shape, the blue, of 34. Um, over here to the orange, we have two rows of eight. And so we have eight units then on this side for a perimeter, eight on this side, and eight and eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have a perimeter of 20 on this shape. Again, our area is still 16. And then our green square we can see that we have four sides and they are all equal. So there's four units on this side, four on this side, four on this side. And the student might think that there's four fours, so that's 16. So here we have a perimeter again of 16. And the area is also 16 on this one. They might start to wonder and think about that. So on this shape here, we have one side of five, this side is five as well, this is a two, we have a three here, a three here, and a two here, and they might notice that the two and three make five here and here, and they could skip count then, five, 10, 15, 20. And so here they have a perimeter of 20, the area is still 16, and they might notice now that they have two shapes this one on the graph paper and the orange one that both have the same perimeter even though they're different shapes. In this lesson, students have been asked to create a shape with a designated area or perimeter. A student is successful when they are able to accurately create an area or perimeter with a certain measurement and explain or justify their work to another person using numbers, words, and pictures.